Sexual desire or attraction is triggered by various stimuli, such as visual, auditory, emotional, tactile, or touch, fantasies, thoughts, or memory cues. When these stimuli are received, the body begins to respond and cause physiological changes in the body. In response to the stimuli, the brain releases neurotransmitters like dopamine and nitric oxide. These chemicals act as messengers that help to dilate the blood vessels in the pelvic region. Including those in the penis. Dilation of blood vessels allows more blood to flow into the penile tissues. This has three cylindrical chambers made up of a sponge-like material. When these chambers fill with blood, the penis becomes rigid and erect. At this stage, the male body is prepared for sexual activity. Nerve endings become more sensitive and touch or friction is met with heightened sensation. To maintain the erection, the veins that usually allow blood to flow out of the penis become compressed. This helps to keep the blood in the penile chambers, sustaining the erection. As sexual activity or stimulation continues, tension builds within the pelvic region. The bulbourethral glands are also known as Cowper glands. They are a pair of small exocrine glands located at the base of the penis. They produce a clear alkaline fluid called Cowper's fluid, which is secreted during sexual arousal and helps to lubricate the urethra and neutralize any acidic urine that may be present. This secretion often precedes ejaculation and is sometimes noticed as pre-ejaculate. It may also help to flush out any sperm that may be remaining in the urethra from previous ejaculations. The sperm travels from the testes through the vas deferens. The seminal vesicles and prostate glands secrete fluids that mix with sperm to form semen. Eventually, the man reaches a point commonly known as the point of no return, where ejaculation becomes inevitable. This leads to the moment of orgasm, characterized by rhythmic contractions of the pelvic muscles and the release of semen through the urethra. The semen is expelled from the penis in a series of spurts, usually coinciding with the sensations of orgasm. These physical sensations are usually accompanied by a feeling of intense pleasure and release. These sensations are the result of both the physical expulsion of semen and the release of neurochemicals like endorphins in the brain, leading to feelings of pleasure and relaxation.
after ejaculation or when sexual stimulation ceases, the release of the neurotransmitters is halted. Another enzyme called PDE5 helps to break down the chemicals that cause the dilation of blood vessels. As a result, the blood vessels constrict and the blood drains out of the penile tissues, returning the penis to its flaccid state. After orgasm, men often experience a refractory period, during which it is difficult to achieve another erection or orgasm. The length of this period can vary widely among individuals and may also be affected by age, health, and other factors. During this time, feelings of relaxation and emotional well-being are common, thanks to the release of oxytocin and endorphins. While physical acts are one component of male orgasm, emotional well-being and mental state are crucial in sexual satisfaction and function. Worrying about one's performance, stress, emotional disconnection and unresolved relationship issues, depression, a negative self-perception, past traumatic experiences, including sexual abuse or assault, and cultural or personal beliefs about how men should perform sexually can have a significant impact on male orgasm. If a man is having difficulty achieving orgasm or has concerns about his sexual health, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional or therapist specializing in sexual health.